Make sure to watch this video to the end for your chance to win a Proteus Spectrum G502 mouse. Hey, good morning, guys. Uh, coming at you a little bit late this morning because there were some bugs in the build that I wanted to show off. Um, they were causing some issues. As a matter of fact, for those of you that have been having issues with some of the macros acting funny or some of the macro commands acting funny, I believe I tracked down... Um, the cause of that um, so this build should work uh, a lot better once I get it published to you guys um, but basically what I'm going to show off is one of the things that uh, I was talking about uh, I needed to create this week was the ability to record complex keyboard entry and to be able to play it back um, instead of just you know mapping one button to one key uh, for people that wanted to do more complex stuff uh, so now we have that ability. Uh, created a new profile here. I'm just going to create a new macro. And hopefully this works. Uh, key commands. And I'm just going to record something here. So, uh, what you see that did is, uh, it doesn't look pretty yet, um, but it recorded a bunch of my keystrokes as well as the timing of them. Uh, so if you wanted to do like complex movements and all that stuff where the keys have to be held down certain amounts of time, it'll do that as well. Uh, and that stuff, you can choose whether or not you want to record it or not here. Um, you also have the ability to split the press and release as well as record, uh, repeating keystrokes uh, like if you hold a key down in a text editor it'll repeat that key um, regardless of what a lot of people think that is not the same thing as holding a key down so a character keeps moving um, a key repeat is solely for text entry uh, for typing as just a mechanism to help um, during typing so you don't have to rapidly hit a key like if you want to insert a bunch of spaces um, that's all it's for. Uh, anyways, see we have that in there. Uh, let's create a trigger. Set it to cross, just to be simple. Okay, and now that should work if I pull up Notepad. There you go. And that's about it for that. Um, pretty straightforward. Uh, should work in game as well as, you know, uh, like if you want to actually move a character around or do something complex or something like that. Uh, so. All right, guys, uh, I'm going to be pushing a new beta uh, once I've made sure that I've gotten all the bugs out of this one. Um, I didn't see anything uh, breaking pop up here, so uh, it's a good sign. Uh, so I'll tinker around with it some more, and then I'll push a build, and you guys will be able to play around with this version. Um, we're getting pretty close to a final, uh, early, not a final release, uh, more of a beta I consider this an alpha right now. Uh, and what the beta will have is it'll have a complete installer, so it'll be more approachable to more people. Um, but yeah, in the meantime, if you guys could continue to like pound every aspect of this and let me know any issues you find. All right, have a good one. Thank you for watching our video. We're starting a new program this month where we're giving away a prize to a lucky member of our new beta website. Uh, this month, the giveaway is a Logitech Proteus Spectrum G502 mouse. Uh, it's got RGB lighting, a uh, high-speed gaming sensor. Uh, so go ahead, go to our beta website, and follow the links for the giveaway for a chance to win this. Uh, any member can enter for a chance to win. Donors and elite donors get additional chances to win. Follow the link for details, and good luck.